And how are to you too, ladies and gentlemen? This is Super BWB, and I am back again with another part of this Crooked Man Let's Play. And yes, this time I am wearing an Egyptian's hat. Just trying to get the costume flow going, because you know, it's October, and as I said before, Halloween is just right around the corner. And so what will we continue on with? <coughs> Excuse me. Hold on, I'm not coming up with a cold or anything. I've been coughing a lot lately. So anyway, we'll be continuing on where we left off, and I do not remember where we left off. So, once I load up this save file, I will, I probably will remember, uh, what did we just do? Can't go in there, right? Okay, now I remember where we left off. When we last left off, we had just encountered the Crooked Man once again, and we had just locked him inside. And now I don't know what we're supposed to be doing now. I was just trying to find D somewhere. Don't like this already? This requires a passcode. Who's this? This ain't this uh Cindy? Okay. Oh yeah, I f finally found a perfect way for me to have my headphones on. Headphones on. I'm actually wearing wearing a hat over it, and it's pretty more comfortable like this. Ray Twain. Okay, we already ended up with Ray Twain. France Moore. Do I do this? Yeah. Don't the damn door. All right, let's go downstairs. Didn't we? Oh yeah, what was that item we found? We yeah. Now we can get to the lecture hall. I do believe it's this. I'll use the lecture hallway key. Oh no, more doors. If I cough a lot, I do apologize. I'm just hoping I'm not coming down with a cold. Oh! Friends, faculty, and staff, I thank you for coming today. Today, us, to, oh wait, today is, for us, the best day of our lives. Because today, we leave the nest of our school and begin our climb to adulthood. Those who pass the bar exam, those who didn't, those becoming clerks or in not notaries or teachers. All of us will be graduating from this school, and we owe a great debt to it. Though even if we manage to graduate, some of us may need to put a little bit more time into their studies. But these graduates have one thing in common. They are filled with hope for their future. They are ready to challenge what lies ahead. A toast to our dreams, to our yet unsure futures, and may we have God's grace. D? How did you get into this lecture room? Wasn't the hallway locked? Eh? You forget I'm a graduate here? I know all the secret ways, dummy. Huh. Well... What were you listening to? A tape? Yeah, from my graduation day. Man, has it really been three years? I was getting the nostalgia for the place. And even abandoned, it really hasn't changed. It's just like it was when I was taking classes. Studying were wearing me out, so I came here for a breather. It's nice to have places full of memories like this. Hmm? You graduated, but you're still studying? Hey, layoff! Yeah, I couldn't pass the bar exam, so I'm cramming at home now. Next up is going to be my sixth attempt. There were lots of great guys in my class. Most of them, most of them passed it in one shot. Being a lawyer has been my dream since I was a kid, so I'm happy when I got accepted here. Felt like I was one step closer to making it come true. The work was rough, and I just barely managed to graduate. I think it's my kind, helpful professors that did it. I'll pass next time for sure. I mean, it's my sixth time. Any more and I'll be way behind my classmates. <clears throat> well, it's good to be motivated, but it's dangerous here. You should get out of here soon. Huh? Dangerous? What? It's sort of hard to explain. There's kind of a monster here. It'll attack you if it finds you. 
I thought you were just some weird old guy wandering around abandoned school, but damn, you really are nuts, huh? Seriously, a monster? Seriously, a monster? Even little girls don't believe that stuff. You're being a total doofus. Do you enjoy making fun of people? I don't think I'm much older than. <coughs> don't quarrel with me, all right? I'm a talented soon-to-be lawyer. You're no you'd be no match for me. <sighs> do what you want, but don't say I didn't warn you. Yeah, I will do what I like. Thanks. Like a like I need a shady punk like you telling me what to do around my my element element matter. Hey Paul, I, I got in. What? Really? You got in? To flight school? Oh, flashback. That's crazy. Nate, that's crazy, Nate. I can't, I can't even do a handstand. You can do whatever you want once you put your mind to it. <laughs> Thanks. But it doesn't make me a pilot yet. Still have to pass the exam. Man, dude, you totally be it. You totally will be. And make sure to give me a ride. I'd love to fly above a city sometime. Paul, I'm not going to fly passenger planes. It's not that kind of school. Don't sweat the details. I'm glad for you. You did good. Hey, I'll take you to lunch today. Back then, I wasn't really thinking. I was just going wherever I wanted. I wanted D's like that. Well... The Judas Stone School of Newspaper is posted up. Wait a second. Michael Statham. His birthday 0619. Okay. I think we just got another code. Look for Michael Statham. What's up here? Can we go up here? We can go up here. The rule matches the other pages, so he was here. Many homes were fulfilled here. Many youth were blessed, but I didn't receive the blessing. What's so bad about me? I was never picked by anyone. It never made sense. I love those days. Yeah, he had a leaflet for the school. It was in the desk. Felt like it was a porter. Was he trying to be a lawyer like D was? I guess this would apply he didn't become one. Man, a fucking bullet also shaking up the house. <clears throat> What's over here? What's this? I can't expect that. So yeah, we just got, uh, it seems like we got another code. Wait, what does that say? Oh, auditorium. So it seems like we just got another code. But where was Michael Statham at? Michael Statham's room at? Faculty room? <clears throat> nope. Janitor's room? Haha. <laughs> Infirmary? I do apologize for not talking so much and not providing much commentary here. F.D. Lewis. I just, I'm just trying to concentrate and make excuses, apparently. I'm being remotely funny at the moment. Damn, what the hell? Where is this room? Parlor. What the f- Wait a second. Didn't another person have the same birthday as him? Here's Ray, Ray Twain. Somebody said it was so heavy. Was it Cindy? So let me see. Yeah! The key... Contain the key to the lecture rooms. I don't know what's going to happen. So I'm saving.
I guess we go down the stairs once again. Not a scrap. <coughs> scrap from a notebook. I knew there was something I lacked, but I didn't want to admit it. My ambitious youth my ambitious youthfulness wouldn't let me. I wanted someone to say it. I wanted to be woken up. To be told I, I'm a, I'm a half knot. Lacking. A half knot. It's true. There are halves and half knots. People whose dreams can come true and <clears throat> Again? Sometimes my head just starts hurting bad. Oh my god, finally it- <gasps> Damn monster! Why are you- Why are you chasing me? Did we just- Did we just die? What happened? Did he drop us? Ugh. I'm not gonna get too dramatic with these dialogues. But it reminds me of an anime, so... I'm... I'm alive? The monster's gone. I thought it would kill me. But it left? Damn it. My neck hurts. And I feel so sluggish. I haven't really slept since yesterday. I should try to rest somewhere. Oh god, we're slow! <laughs> what happened? Oh wow, we are about to die. I have a reference books. Let's see if we can, let's see if we can make our way back to the infirmary. There's a notice about a seminar. 921 in the auditorium. Crime among the improvised and its prevention. more. Let me read that again. 921. Let's remember that. Wait a second. <clears throat> Let's see if we can try to make our way back to the infirmary. God, he, oh my god, he is so slow. Oh, we went the wrong way. Shoot. I'm trying to lay out the cussing, too. Well, that isn't in the dialogue. With all that cussing, it is just being ignorant and unprofessional. Which way was the infirmary again? Was it down here? These are the bathrooms. Oh my god, he is so slow. I'm trying to find a bed or something in the infirmary. I'll take a little nap. Pushing myself wouldn't be a good idea. I feel a lot better. All right, let's go. Okay, now we're mo now we're a lot faster. And what the fuck? We only regained thirty. Only regained thirty. What the hell? No, go back to sleep. <laughs> go back in the bed. Go back to sleep. I shouldn't rest any longer. I need to find him quick. Motherfucker. Okay, so I think we just required our passcode for France Moore. I don't believe he's up here. <clears throat> Somewhere. Nope. <laughs> Lefty Lewis. This has to be it, right here. France Moore, here we are. Or not. It looks like some sort of diary. I lost the note with my security box password. Thus, I couldn't get into the computer room, and the headmaster got angry at me. This is the worst. I thought I had it when I was writing for a seminar in the reference room. May I look in the book somehow? I should go look. <clears throat> if I use my ID as a password like Andrew does, then I won't forget it. But that's risky. But if you just use whatever, then you have my problem.
Hmm. So do we go back down into the auditorium or something? I wonder. Oh. Darn. Thought it'd be something down here. Anything over here? No. Nothing in here. Oh. I know what that shining is. Sorry, I'm crying on the visions. So, something in the auditorium. Can we go into the auditorium? This is the auditorium. Oh! Something in here. This is not much of an auditorium, it looks like a classroom. Completely dark out. <coughs> Did they say something about the reference room? It's the janitor's room. What's this? Oh. the infirmary, right? Yeah, that's the infirmary. Ugh. Nope. No. The name player is John Keith. France Moore. I could, uh, ah! I thought I could squeeze through that. He did not leave it in the book. What the f- Twain and Gene McGuire. What's this? Ugh. I didn't realize it was this. It's gonna be this confusing. Shit. <coughs> Hefty Lewis. I'm sorry. <laughs> Every time I read his day, I just laugh. That's open. Is there nothing in a book somewhere? <coughs> There's no power, so it doesn't work. Was it in this book? International law, international law, oh my gosh, international law, criminology, <clears throat> criminal behavior, a psych psychological approach, that notice in a lecture room mentioned this, I don't understand a word of it, hmm, there's a slip of paper in here, what's the number 99814, okay, 9981, that has to be one for Francis Moore, Let's try it. Oh yeah! They contain the keys of the computer room. Woo! Alright, now we get more further into the story. Or into this part anyway. Now where is the computer room? Is it this way? Is this it? Damn! This is John Keith. I want to go in there. This is the... Oh, this is Andrew Robinson. <clears throat> so I guess it's down, it's down here. Because I know it's to the left. This is the reference. That has to be the reference room. So this is the computer room. Yes! Wow! <clears throat> I'm going to give me some orange juice in a minute. Or some water. It lets a computer. There's no power. 
There's a shiny in here. That's the uh, complicated papers. I don't understand any of them. That's a lot of writing. <laughs> Printed by Andrew Robinson. ID 144246. Really? Plus, there's another one. 19... I mean... 1709. Maybe that's it? Did we just get one for Andrew? Huh? The fuck? Did they just cut on by itself? <clears throat> Friends, faculty, and staff, I thank you for coming today. We're glad to have a sunny graduation to start out the rest of our lives. The future may be uncertain for some, but the persistence we've learned here will make us resolute. I'm sorry. The future may be uncertain for oh. So but the persistence a round of applause for my fellow graduates. <clears throat> what? What? The laptop? But there's no power. We even. We even have some valedictorian. There's something I can't help but lament. It's about David Hoover. Huh? He was highly skilled, kind to us all, and admired by pupils and teachers alike. We all expect that he will be proudly standing with us this morning to graduate. But our hopes were dashed by none other than the man himself. Hiding behind an innocent face, he's been fooling all his pupils and professors. Let me ask you all of this. Should he be forgiven? Can he escape punishment for betraying his friends and mentors? I didn't think so. He should forever be punished for what he has done to grant his selfish dreams. <coughs> Stop it! Stop! You're the lowest of low. Your dreams will never come true. What are you even good for? Go off and die somewhere, coward! Wow, that laugh is getting really repetitive. All it says is die. Oh my god. No, I, I'm not a coward. I, I just... Huh? I heard a scream. That was you? Jeez, you make me freak. What's the big idea, huh? Did something happen? Forget about it. Sorry for the surprise. It's nothing. Hey, dude, you okay? Oh, my McAfee, my McAfee thing popped up. <clears throat> You're super pale. I'm just kind of tired. I came a long way and I haven't slept. Leave me alone. I can't be bothered to talk. <clears throat> Have this. Huh? I already had a little, but it's an energy drink. Drink up. What? Seriously? I, I don't need this. I told you, leave me be. Drink it! Jeez! You really look like you need food and drink. And I'm being nice, so I accept my kindness. Alright, thanks. But what's with all but what's all this from a guy who's who has been calling me a shady punk? Mostly because you look like crap, dude. Come on, it's not like I'm heartless. I mean I am trying to be a lawyer. Besides, maybe it's fate. Tell you what, I won't call you shady anymore. Now cheer up. You could be my client once I'm a lawyer. <laughs> That's a way to turn around. I'm grateful at any rate. Say, have you seen anyone else around? Particularly a man about my age? A man? Nope, nobody. He's who you're looking 
Mm. He's who you're looking for? Yeah. Though I don't really know how he looks. Tell me if you see him, okay? You got it. Don't anybody be around here, though. Oh, but can I ask about something, too? Professor Andrew. He's always helped me out. His room's on the third floor. But it's got a cold, so I can't get in. I was thinking the professor might still have some lecture notes for me around or something. But yeah, tell me if you can get it open, okay? Alright, got it. Oh, it's that six-digit crap. I'll wander around some more then. You look like hell, so don't push yourself. Yeah, well, you be careful too. If you see any monsters, get away. Not this again. Yeah, yeah, sure. I've got a knife to defend myself anyhow. Smell ya. I don't want you to smell me, even though I took a shower. Well, I did. He looks like crap. <laughs> Maybe he's not as bad as I thought. We got an energy drink. Alright, so I'm going to save. And I'm going to cut it here. As it's getting on 26 minutes. And I don't want to exceed 30 again. So, tune in next time. When we can think on more of The Crooked Man. See you guys then.